What's good YouTube, it's your boy Prosper back with another reaction video. In this video, bro, I'm about to react to Ghetto Boys, uh, No Nuts, No Glory. Shout out my dog John for requesting this track. Um, and I apologize for being gone for like the past few months or what, at whatever time frame it was. Uh, in all honesty, bro, I just got burnt out. Like, I just needed a break to just make my mind reset and all that shit. But I'm back for real now, you know what I mean? Back, back. Uh, just consistently uploading uh, type shit. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to see what's up with this shit, bro. Ghetto Boys, definitely one of my favorite crews to react to. Um, yeah, I'm ready to see what's up with this track. But before we get into the video, I'm gonna need y'all to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, run time to keep subs. Let's go, let's go. Post notifications on. And with that being said, let's check this out. Yeah, Big Mike, how you living? I've been selling out the same dope house since the age of 16. Shuffling crack like cars to these bunked out dope things. Rock after motherfucking rock, singing cop after motherfucking. Hold up. Who is Big Mike, bro? Because I only know uh, Ghetto Boys is basically Scarface, Willie D, and uh, Bushwick. You know what I mean? Never heard of Big Mike, so. Like, I didn't know he was part of the group or uh, whatnot. Uh, but let me know down below in the comments if he's part of the group or if this is the future or something. He is hard, Cause he wouldn't snitch on his fucking mm. friend In that same motherfucker that didn't go to jail Wouldn't come and pay that's his own for his bail But that's the way niggas do you yep. for the case for another. That's crazy So this is a storytelling track Which I fuck with um, And he's just basically talking about like How he did He, he stuck to the code He didn't rat on his friend and all that uh, When he, he got caught But his homie who he thought was going to be uh hold him down and type shit not hold him down but uh basically supply you know what i mean for him uh pays bail pays lawyer type shit he didn't do none of that shit and that's how it'd be most of the times bro like those who you think are there for you at your worst times tend to not be there for you at your worst times it's just crazy so like i just live by the motto just don't trust nobody uh it, just don't trust nobody in general, you know what I mean? And don't expect anything from others because expectations will lead to disappointment. Um, so yeah, this is a dope track. Like, a lot, like it's just a way of life. Although it, uh, a lot of street people could relate to this song, it's just, a, uh, it's just a way of life. Don't trust nobody. Don't expect things from other people. You won't be disappointed. So it has a dope uh, lesson to it. Another nigga and he's where he never knew you. Twelve months in the county, you done got out and found out that your homie was his own dope house. And he ain't gave you shit. Not even a funk ass ounce to get on your feet, that shiesty bitch. And he still called you family. That's the worst part about it. To a nigga who ain't paying me. Because I ain't with that whole shit. So if you're thinking about fucking me, nigga, you better try some more shit. Because I didn't pay my dues in like a fool in the process. Watch another nigga progress. All the motherfucking shit I did. But in the 90s, it's payback and I ain't taking no shots, kid. Because life is a bitch. And I ain't that nigga to be broke. While I'm making another motherfucker rich. So yeah. rise up, nigga, get with the program. Because in this dirty game, you got to wash your own hands. And I got to take nine ready to take mine. It was for me, ho. Yeah. No nuts, no clue. That shit hard. That shit, that first verse, bro, was crazy. Like, he was saying some real shit. And, the, like, the niggas that uh like won't post your bail won't put money up for your lawyer and all that shit when you come out they gonna think like everything's cool you know what i mean uh that's what i always say like previously uh expectations lead to disappointment um so it's part part of it's on you like you shouldn't expect nobody to to have your back but like we're all human so we expect those that you consider real loyal homies to have your back but Nine times out of ten, bro, that ain't the case. Uh, and, like, what he's talking about is how he went to jail for uh, basically dealing drugs and all that shit. But his homie is the one, uh, your homie runs his own t dope house. So he's basically 
uh, I guess, took over the spot or whatever the case may be. I don't think it's the same dope house or whatever, but still, he's taking business away from you. You know what I mean? And now that you came out of jail and obviously it's hard to get back on your feet, um, and he ain't giving you nothing to get back on your feet, which is the worst thing on top of that shit. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what the second verse is going to be, but I'm guessing he's going to get payback in some sort, um, or just go after the niggas, whatever the, uh, the thing is. And I like the title of the track, bro. No nuts, no glory. No guts, no glory, but they put their own twist to it. This shit dope, bro. This shit fire. I mean, he put his own twist to it. Now I didn't hurt a nigga say they calling me the biggest bitch in Texas Cause I'm bumming the ride when I should be driving mm. Texas But you know I gives a fuck about what niggas say I handle mine by handling shit my own way Hold up, one line he said previously, I'm not, uh, I, let me go back to it, was, uh, where is it? He was just talking about how, uh, add it up and you'll find more niggas doing time in the bed because he wouldn't snitch on his fucking friend. And that was the same motherfucker that didn't go to jail. So basically, he didn't snitch on his homie. Uh, but the way niggas do, you caught a case for another nigga and he swear he never knew you. Uh, it's crazy, bro. Like, it's crazy because niggas f fall for the same mistakes. Like, that's what I always say. Like, learn from other people's lessons uh or experiences so you don't have to go through the same shit but like it seems like everyone else just wants to go th through their own experiences to figure out the same shit they're not gonna believe other niggas telling them certain shit uh and all that and i'm not talking about in like the streets or something i'm just talking about in general with life like if a nigga tells you i fucked up in life this uh, i did this and it led me to this for some reason, people don't want to take that experience uh, and just learn from his mistake. They want to go through the mistake themselves and learn from it. You know what I mean? Because, like, this song came out in 93, but I know, I guarantee you, bro, a lot of street niggas fell for the same shit where they thought their homie was going to be there for them uh, when they get sent to jail, and they weren't there for them. Uh, so it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, niggas be falling for the same shit. Uh with the streets and in just in life in general. Niggas think it's cool to fuck a nigga like me, but they don't know that they sinking fool. See, I stay low key, letting a nigga think he know me, but he really don't know me. G. Claiming that we friends when my little girl is riding a bus and his little girl is riding a fucking beer. Yeah. Who's your friend? Ask yourself that shit. The only friend I got is my fucking pistol. Okay. Look, filthy witch, I know you love it. I done made your ass fat and you still talking about 25 off 100. Be real, that shit went out in 86. I'm down with the ghetto boys, but my mind ain't playing tricks, bitch. Mm. Still with the music to get me mine cool. That shit, that shit a hard bar, bro. That shit a hard bar. So I think he's just cool with the group or whatever. I don't think he's part of the group. But he said, I'm down with the ghetto boys, but my mind ain't playing tricks. That shit, that shit's a nice ass bar, bro. I fuck with that shit. That shit hard. Fuck with that shit. Cause they got the song called, but like the double. Still refuse to give me mine cool. Nigga be that way. And I'ma handle my business, fool. Just like my nigga Snoop Dogg told me. You gotta get down for your shit while you can, homie. And you supposed to get your ass lit up. Cause the fucking ain't proper when I ain't the nigga that's catching the nut. Mm. Payback is a motherfucker. Payback is a bitch. But payback is a must when I ain't the nigga that's getting rich. Mm. Cause life ain't but one big chance. And I like these other motherfuckers. I ain't scared to touch your bitch ass. Cause okay. if you believe in fucking niggas, use a hoe. And the Peter man can't tolerate hoes. So you got to go. Got to go. Mr. Big Man, Mr. Big Nut. Got everybody thinking you the shit. But really, I'm the motherfucking one. Mm. So I'm about to grab my shit off the shelf. And go on a mission one nigga getting busy by his damn self. So keep on thinking you fucking me. This beat is hard, bro. I'll be pulling your fucking number, G. Cause I'm a nigga with no. This beat is crazy, bro. I fuck with that shit. Yeah, they they did he did his thing on this shit, bro. He did his thing on that shit for real, bro. I fuck with that shit, bro. It was a storytelling track. Uh it was definitely it was a cool like it's it's a common story, you know what I mean? A lot of street niggas talk about this shit. Um getting locked up. And it's in the movies, too, I'm pretty sure. You know what I mean? A lot of uh, gangster movies and all that where niggas get locked up, come back home. 
and realize uh, their homie basically became the the boss or whatever of the uh, the block or type shit. You know what I mean? So um, it's just a common theme. Um, but it's a dope song, bro. Definitely a dope song. It came out in '93, so like uh, this shit definitely was before a lot of the other niggas songs that I've heard. Um, but yeah, this shit was dope, bro. Beat was dope. Um, and he was talking some real shit. Uh, I done heard a, uh, a couple niggas say, calling me the biggest bitch in Texas because I'm bumming a ride when I should be driving a Lexus. You know what I mean? So, basically, when he got locked up, everything got taken away. Like, uh, the boss status he had around his block, all the money, uh, the cars, the, just all the materialistic shit. So, niggas ain't looking at him the same as they used to because... Um, all that shit got taken away. So, of course, now this nigga's gonna feel some type of way. Especially on top of the fact that all his homies uh, didn't have his back when he came out. As well as while he was still in, in jail. Because no one was there uh, supporting him. Like like I said, putting money up for his bail. Putting up money up for his lawyer. And the worst part about it, bro, is when you're expecting niggas to do that shit for you. And you would have done that shit for them. If, if the roles were reversed, you know what I mean? So that shit's probably gonna uh, make someone's blood boil it, being in that situation. So I fuck with this song, bro. Song was dope as hell. Um, common story. I know a lot of niggas could relate to this shit. A lot of street uh, niggas. Uh, but yeah, fire ass song, bro. Fire ass storytelling track. But yeah, let me know down below uh, who Big Mike is. If he's part of the group or he's just cool with them uh, type shit. But, um, yeah, shout out my dog, John, for a question this track. This track was fire as hell. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to keep the reactions coming. And I apologize for uh, inconsistency and taking that long-ass break without letting y'all know. But, yeah, I'm back I'm back fully, uh, consistent uploads and all that shit. But, yeah, uh, if y'all enjoyed my, my reaction video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn post notifications on, share the video, do all that fun stuff. And with that being said, I'm going to see y'all next one. I'm out. Peace.